Welcome to AC247, I'm Aaron Dean. The suspect in a deadly shooting at UNC Chapel Hill is now identified as a doctoral student. Police have charged Tai Lee Chi with first degree murder and the death of a UNC faculty member. Chi was taken into custody about an hour after the shooting, but investigators are still looking for the weapon. The faculty member has not yet been publicly identified 49 school shootings have been recorded this year, including 15 on university and college campuses. And in Florida, a federal hate crime investigation is underway after a racist gunman killed three black people in Jacksonville, Florida before killing himself. The Advocate Channel's Brian Todd has the latest. New information tonight about Saturday's racist shooting rampage in Jacksonville. New video shows that before the shooter killed three black people at a Dollar General store, he stopped at a different Dollar store, but only came out with a bag. When I'm looking at it, it doesn't appear to me that he wanted to face anyone that may cause him any issues. So it looks like he, he wanted to take action at the family dollar. That's what it looks like. And he did not because I think he got impatient and got tired of waiting. He then went to Edward Waters University, a historically black university. Video shows the suspect apparently parks in a lot, gets a bag out of the hatch, then puts on a vest. Then a security officer responding to a student's tip approaches. The suspect speeds off, jumping the curb and almost hitting a column as he was chased off. For you to have on a tactical vest, uh, gloves and a mask, you know, the question raised, what are you doing here? Authorities revealing today the shooter previously worked at a Dollar Tree store. Writings left behind by deceased shooter Ryan Palmetter show he wanted to kill black people, the sheriff says. The manifesto is, is, a, is quite frankly, uh, the diary of a madman. Law enforcement releasing two short video clips of the gunman's rampage at the Dollar General store, aiming his rifle at a car in the store's parking lot, then aiming it inside the store. I heard, fa fa. I turned around, I seen him drop. The video also showing officers storming the store, looking for the suspect, and visibly reacting when they hear the shot believed to be a self-inflicted gunshot. Community representatives are demanding broader action to address racism and hate crimes. It's unjust that we can't, we can't even walk on the sidewalks. We're not safe in any stores. A federal hate crimes probe has already been launched. We can't let hate prevail, and it's on the rise. It's not, not diminishing. The three victims, all black, Angela Carr, an Uber driver, Gerald Gallion, who has a four-year-old daughter, and A.J. Laguerre, Jr., who worked at the store. He was a real sweet young fellow. Officials say there was nothing in the gunman's past to prevent him from legally buying these two guns, a handgun and an AR-15-style rifle emblazoned with swastikas. Even though in 2017, he was sent for a 72-hour mental health evaluation under the Baker Act and then released, according to authorities. I don't know legally, uh, given the way the laws are written right now in the state of Florida, that there was anything that could have been done. And, and therein lies the frustration for me. One of the Tennessee three is again being targeted by GOP lawmakers. Representative Justin Jones was ruled out of order twice during a debate on gun-related measures. That triggered a vote to silence Jones for the rest of the day. It passed along party lines, but Democrats argued that no vote was held for a Republican representative who had also been ruled out of order twice. Jones is one of two Democrats ejected by the Republican majority for participating in protest on the chamber floor earlier this year. Both won their seats back in special elections. And thanks so much for joining us for AC247. For more, you can go to theadvocatechannel.com and even subscribe on the Advocate Channel's YouTube page. For The Advocate Channel, I'm Aaron Dean.